morning. When it's cold out, I like to bring Champ up here in the bed with me. <laughs> Not really for him. He's covered in fur. He's totally fine. But he keeps me warm. <laughs> and uh, I don't turn the furnace up really high because... I don't want to pay for more propane. It's not even, the propane's not even expensive. It's just I don't want to go through the hassle of like finding a propane station. Uh, I got to work on the insulation again in here. It's not great. I can feel the heat sapping away pretty quick. So uh, we'll do that soon. I'll be making videos about that. But for now, I'm going to make some coffee. I got to go get some envelopes and stuff. And I gotta go ship off a few stickers to uh, some of you guys. Um, and yeah, there should still be stickers and patches by the time this video posts, I think. So uh, check that out. There'll be a link in the description. I've been putting links in every video. So aside from that, we're gonna cross the American border today. All going well. I'm excited. What a frustrating morning. I've been uh, spending most of the morning like in different coffee shops trying to meet people to like sell my camera gear. I'm selling all my Nikon camera gear. Uh, they're kind of like the dinosaur of the photography world. They're, a lot of companies are, are kicking butt right now and I'm moving over to Sony because of, mainly because of the video stuff and because of the weight and size of it. Sony camera I want that's replacing my Nikon, does everything my Nikon does and more, is a third the size and half the price. There's two distinctions of photographers. There's people who actually work as photographers and do it every day, and that's how they make money. Um, these people use the gear as a tool. So then there's the hobbyist photographers. They're on the forums, they're making the messages. They're like gear centric. They're like super obsessed with like nitpicking every little thing. So I'm a pro who uses his gear. His gear has wear on it. The price reflects that. Selling it, and I'm at, I keep meeting these hobbyists that are just like, staring at every single freaking little rub mark on my damn lens. I'm like, dude, it's a tool. Chill out. It takes great photos. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I had like four people pull out. And I, just, I posted the photos, man. They saw what they're getting into. Anyway, gear, man. Who cares? But yeah, new O2 sensor is in, and there's definitely less hesitation. It was definitely running something, rich lean, I, don't, I can't tell. But fuel mileage is better, there's no hesitation on the throttle. I can't tell if it's not running hot or not, because it's kind of cold out today. But then I was climbing some hills earlier and it climbed up a little bit. I don't know man, I don't really care anymore. If this hasn't fixed it at this point, I'm running this goddamn engine directly into the ground and I'm never gonna think about it again because if it's still broken, this van is definitely a lemon and it will never run properly. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Among the other things I've broken today, the driver's side door does not shut properly anymore. Uh, my GPS module, thing is uh, not charging properly. The cable I think got fried, but then also the connector, the USB like 12 volt to 5 volt that I installed underneath it, that's fried as well. The second curtain on the side door is pretty much gone now. Uh, so yeah, like I said, every day some more stuff breaks in this van. It's, it's definitely the worst part of living in a van is how flimsy and crappy everything is and how no matter if you install good stuff or bad stuff, just the wear and tear of being on the road and living in a small space will just destroy everything. So, I've learned not to spend a lot of money on it. I've learned to like, just patch it together because it's gonna break again whether you buy a new one or whether you fix this one, whether you put it together with duct tape or whether you put it, you buy a whole new thing. It's, it's all gonna break. So, I'm not worrying about it. I'm just gonna keep rolling. And uh, I'm trying to make it to the desert in one piece. And it'll be smoother sailing from there.
Okay, so just about to America. It's actually the bridge is right over there. But there's a few things I have to get before I leave Canada for good. Not for good. You know what I mean. A few things. Let's go pick them up. Yeah, I know it's not super healthy, and I know there's some places in the United States apparently you guys can get all dressed chips. That's pretty cool, but yeah, I had to. I had to. You know, I'm bringing my house with me. I might as well bring uh, some bit of home with me, too. was a success. He actually did check the paperwork on Champ. That's the first time that's ever happened, but uh, didn't have to uh, hold me like last time, which goes to show, you know, all you gotta do to cross the border is be white and you'll be fine. I crossed with Ashley last time. She's half Mexican and we got searched. Every time that I cross with somebody who's not very, very white, I, uh, I definitely get searched. But what are you gonna do, right? It's a crazy world we live in. All right, I'm gonna make some miles, I think, and then uh, find a nice place to camp out for tonight, and tomorrow, I'm gonna be in fucking Chicago! Woo! up in this little uh, strip mall. There's a Starbucks here. I'm gonna see if I can't catch the Wi-Fi from the van, but if not, I might use the antenna or I might just go inside because uh, there's no sun out anyway. I'm making myself some dinner. Chopped up some sausages, put some chickpeas in that, getting a little kind of like a Mexican dealio going on here, but it's got some weir weirdo white people bits like spinach dip and mozzarella cheese, and it it's just gonna be good. But, uh, I don't know what it is. Mmm, see? Doesn't that look good? Awesome. Champ thinks it looks good. Clash of cultures right there. Uh, spiciness from the whole pan mix-up. And a, a creamy, like sour cream from the other side. And then they collide together and balance each other out. We gotta keep them separated till the last possible moment. So I got some good work done. I ended up going inside the Starbucks. Uh, I didn't really need to, but uh, I don't know. I just wanted to step out of the van. Parked up here. It's not a Walmart. It's at May Major. Major. I don't know. There's quite a few other cars camped here for the night, though. Obviously, so um, I'm just gonna assume it's cool. And uh, I'll keep everything clean when I park up. This is what I do, you know, if I'm not 100% or something, I'll keep, keep the van clear so that when I wake up, because somebody tells me I gotta move, I can just get in the driver's seat and move. And then that way, it's just nothing to stress about, because even if you do get kicked out, it's like, whatever, right? Just drive a couple blocks and then go park it and go back to bed. No harm done. Nice relaxing night, chilling out here. Every night, uh, now that it's a little bit colder, I bring Champ up top with me. Not really for him, because he stays warm no matter what, but uh, it's for me. Because he's like a nice furry uh, warm thing to go cuddle up with. Anyway, that's my night plan tonight. Between the driving and the, the planning and the emailing and the stuff, and then I've got to edit an episode every day, like... I'm not complaining or anything, like, this, this is awesome. I love traveling and everything, but I just... Kind of miss playing video games, kind of miss like watching movies and chilling out. So I'll have to do some more of that once I've caught up a little bit. But for now, I'm focusing very much on the YouTube. And uh, I'm really excited about where it's going, so I'm going to keep pushing on. Okay, good night.